at first, I just, I didn't really know what had happened. And so I, I was just trying to piece it all together. My sister told me um, what had happened. And I just remember, I, I really had, I couldn't say anything. I, could, I couldn't speak. When I heard the audio transmission that was posted online, I was blown away. Um, really trying to connect what my sister had told me um, to his voice and his tone. It, it went from something that, okay, I knew that he was gone, I knew that something had happened, but why, to even more but why. Because on that audio, his voice, he was confident, he was funny. He, uh, he didn't seem scared at all. It just sounded like Bebo. The last time I saw him, I mean, it, it was Bebo. There was nothing out of the ordinary at all. Without him having any formal training, he had to learn this on his own. So that just kind of tells me that it's something that he's been thinking about for quite a while. And uh, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow because, you know, think about you know, look for signs before that, but there really wasn't any. There was something obviously in his life that pushed him over that edge. But we've lost one hell of, hell of a guy. He's a great brother, um, good, to, good to everybody. He's a great uncle, um, very good to my daughters, my brother's kids, my sister's kids. Um, he, I know he was a good husband. He, loved her, faithful, um, godly man. 